folks, this is Roger with Pure Aquaponics. Uh, coming out here looking at our tomato plant, and this was our monster tomato plant during the winter, and we cut it uh, back to another and three grown. And uh, if you'll remember back in them times, we, uh, we actually killed off our catfish by allowing them to feed on the leaves of this tomato plant. Uh, it's, it's quite toxic to fish, or some fish, not all. They, I hear that tilapia is, is, you know, can eat them just fine. Anyway, back to what's really going on here. If you'll notice, we're seeing a bunch of leaves, and I'm hoping the sun allows you to see it well up near the top. We're, we're showing a lot of yellow leaves, or yellowing leaves, uh, with chlorosis between the veins and, and what have you. Let's see if I can get a close-up of some leaves right here. There you go. Can't tell if that's uh, really focused or not. Let's see. That may have helped. The thing is, most people are going to say this is iron right off the bat. But it's not. What we've got going on here, if you look down on the lower limbs, lower leaves, they're still yellow. This is normal. The dying off of the leaves is normal. This is an indeterminate, so the lower limbs will die off. However, if you'll look at this plant, you'll see that this yellowing, even down here on these low branches, is here. This is a nitrogen deficiency, which is something you don't usually see in aquaponics. Now, we have waited about putting more fish in the system for this reason, to let this happen so that we could show live video and get some really good pictures of it so that folks could see the difference between a nitrogen deficiency and an iron or potassium deficiency. Here's one of our pepper plants. This is a mild jalapeno, and though it's producing really nice peppers, look here's one right next to it. Really nice peppers, and, and they are, have got a lot of flavor. If you'll look at the leaves, you'll notice from new growth to old growth, you've got yellowing leaves. All right? Now, we're not really seeing leaves fall off, uh, except something, even the, the really old ones. Let me get down in here. This really old one down here, even though it's way yellow, we're not, it's not falling off. It's hanging on. So we're, we're not having an issue with that uh, because it is a nitrogen deficiency and not uh, potassium or, or some other deficiency. Now, the one place we're not really seeing it yet are in the strawberries. They're not showing much of a, uh, a nitrogen deficiency yet, but they will. They'll be next in line. Uh, our kale, which is starting to get a little bit hot for kale, it's starting to show that nitrogen deficiency. And it's some pretty hardy stuff. It's, it's really, really hardy. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. Our spaghetti squash also, same thing. And this is two plants coming up right here. They come up, they go up to the roof here, back down, over to there, all the way to the far side of our greenhouse. So this, this, thing, this plant goes up six or eight foot and goes across 12 feet. And you'll see there's some dead fruit up there. These are dying because there's, there's just not enough nitrogen in the system for them. All right. So today what we're going to do is we're going to start supplementing with some uh, seaweed extract that we keep in stock on our shelves. We'll put it right in the system. We're also going to start adding fish back in very quickly. Um, we went and got some minnows this morning. I just add back into the system. They'll they'll start jump starting this uh, this ammonia real quick. We've got one goldfish in here in our sump tank, which uh, I'm not sure we even see it that little fella. But he stays hidden most of the time. Out of 37 we got from PetSmart a year ago, we had one survive uh, over the course of two weeks, and he's still alive. He's about six inches long. Anyway, let's see. Standing back here, you can really see how yellow that tomato plant is. Let's move around here, and you'll see we've got fruits all over that tomato plant. And we've been picking a pound to two pounds per day of cherry tomatoes that are ripening up. But the fruit's small. It's smaller than it should be. It's probably three-quarters of the size it should be on this plant because of this nitrogen deficiency. All right, so I hope this helps somebody. Uh, or or everybody that uh, may be looking at what they think could be a nitrogen deficiency in their system. Uh, th that's what it looks like exactly. And we're, we're starting to notice we're having pests move in too because the plants are starting to suffer. Um, we've actually pulled a lot of plants out. You see, we've got bare areas in our, our grow beds where we've removed a lot of plants because there's just not enough nitrogen in here. And you see there's some black beans right there. They're suffering as well. Everything's suffering because of this lack of nitrogen. So we'll be uh, stepping up our nitrogen production over the next uh, week or so and get this thing back into shape. And hopefully I'll remember to do another video and show you how everything greens up again 
uh, within the month.